What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Torque Drift to uh, take a look at another pro car to finish off my uh, three cars of the female drifters here on Torque Drift. So I did pick this car up after uh, getting the other ones from Torque Drift. Big thank you to them for hooking me up with those. And that is that of the Galaxy Painted S14 of Kelsey Rollins, that uh, Achilles Radial, Haltech, Top One Oil, Koenig, DW, ACT, Viren Sparco, all these sponsors on here. So Kelsey Rollins has been in uh, FD for a little bit of time now, getting better and better every single event. Definitely excited to see what's to come out this year for uh, the S14. Um, so we're gonna take a look at this S14 today throw it around in some practice maybe try and get some tandems with it see how it is now my car is going to have a little bit more horsepower because i'm running a couple sponsorships that give more boost and torque but for tuning aspects of the s14 we didn't touch anything that involves the engine or stuff the only thing we really did to touch today was uh increase the steering lock which i was able to get more because of my sponsor in the game so we're running 60 degree steering lock otherwise that's pretty much how it sits we haven't changed anything may change up some tire pressures if i maybe we'll leave it what's the rear at 30 i think we're going to leave it how it sits and maybe adjust it afterwards 30 and 18. there's a grip factor in the rear too so we're going to leave that how it is and then we're going to go uh throw this car out and see uh see how she, how she slides and uh see what we can get into with this uh, galaxy s14 let's see what do we got we have uh tunnel edge big m and captain's hook but we're gonna throw this, of course, the best practice I know, Cali Banks, to run the full Cali Banks track and uh, see how this thing does on the banks. So we're gonna go to the beginning and we're gonna run the bank. Just slam it up into fourth gear. Good amount of tire wheel spin off the start. We break it in, would like to be higher up on the bank, but we'll do another run. Just wasn't sure how this car was going to react, so take it easy on the first run out. Really hard flicks, just a tap. So now that I have an idea on how this car reacts, we're going to throw a, another run here on the banks and see if we can't get a better lead run. Overall, a very well handling car. The grip level is pretty high, actually. I was uh, kind of surprised on how high the grip level was on the car and, you know, throwing it into that bank. So we're going to do this again, see if we can't run that bank. So first impressions on the car, I do like how it handles. I love the S14 and I love the S chassis. So if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you guys know I do drift S chassis in all the games I drive. That's more, that's better. That's a better, uh, it's a better wall run. A little scrape on the wall. Hope she doesn't mind. I uh, did a little wall tap with the car. Nice on that wall. There we go. So it's a very stable car. I'm uh, actually very impressed with how stable this thing is right now. And uh, definitely liking how this thing drives. I will take that run on Cali Bank. Not the highest scoring run ever, but a decent run nonetheless. So now we're going to go and chase and try and chase our own cars. See if we can uh, door bang our uh, lead run. And then we'll probably try and get in some tandems with this car. So it's only got four gears, like most uh, FD cars and pro level cars do. Kick it in. Try and suck up to our own door. There we go. We'll uh, transition there so we don't smack into our, uh, our own car. Staying a little bit further back than I'd like. Try and suck up the door there. So I do love the wrap on this car it looks amazing the galaxy wrap is uh, definitely a cool cool thing to see we're able to get uh we're able to get up in there and uh door bang our own car 50,000 uh point chase so i will definitely take that that's a very decent uh chase rod so now we're gonna go check out and see if we can get some tandems with some randoms and uh throw this car around a little more have some more fun with it definitely cool to have all these pro cars in my fleet we have a uh, slew of pro cars and uh, pro two cars in our fleet of cars. So, and then of course we've been working on uh, my S14 back. A couple of you guys may have seen it in some online battles. Um, we are running the S14 again, 677 horse or 1,677 horsepower with uh, a rotary in that thing right now. So we're gonna go probably run the captain's hook. One of my uh, 
not so favorite tracks, but uh, it's definitely a fun track. Uh, definitely excited for the new update coming out here soon with the, uh, you know, Maname and all that stuff and all the, you know, new cars that they're talking about. If you guys didn't check that, make sure you check out Torchers instagram page and uh their youtube for the update from the game devs so we're gonna search like i said i have a little bit more horsepower because of the maximum drift cast and the king wanga oh it looks like we're gonna be doing a straight fd battle right now i don't know how this dean carney car is gonna go against uh kelsey rollins's car but we're gonna see we're gonna try our best and see what we can do kick it in flick late not as close as I want to be to the wall. Can try and uh, bring this out. Captain's Hook is one of those tracks where if you're not exact, you will have a problem. The latter part of the track is definitely better right there. It is one of those tracks where if you tab the wall too much, you're done. You're going right into the barriers and it's just over. So we got 91,000, which is a pretty decent run here on Captain's Hook. So pretty excited with that. Was able to wall tap and not wall tap too hard that it uh, took my points away and now we're gonna see if we can chase uh dean kearney's viper i'm not sure how the power band's gonna work because we're already getting left but we're gonna have to cut the angle a little bit here to gain some proximity and that was uh that's kind of our advantage right there to uh catch up to him oh boy well, I think we'll take the win on that one. He kind of lost it, was trying not to hit him, but uh, fortunately, he spun out. We will take the win on that, and uh, looks like he didn't even try chasing. Or maybe he wrecked. So we're going to try and find another battle here on Captain Sook, and then we'll probably switch up tracks and do some other uh, other tracks with this car. Definitely enjoying how this car handles. I love the S14, so definitely going to be bringing this car to some online battles, and we're going to go against El Conadale. S14 versus S14. I'm game. Let's do it. It's pretty cool that I'm getting pulling all these uh, FD, FD cars uh, for uh, these tandem battles for this episode. So if you guys like these torture trip videos, make sure you guys comment down below. I know you guys do. Some live streams coming to the channel this week as well. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to get one or two in this week. Got some big things coming to the channel this week, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for some big things. And that's that's what happens tap too much and you're right into that barrier and you can't come back <laughs> it makes this track very interesting and quite difficult to do but we still got a better chase he probably tagged the wall as well so we're gonna try and uh get on the door of alcon dale's s14 let's see if we can't do uh do some door bangs there take out the start stop light i feel like that that start light is uh, a little bit uh in the center so we're gonna once again have to cut the angle a little bit other throttle, back on throttle. Trying to see what lane he's gonna run. He's gonna run that wide. And same spot that the other guy hit the wall, and same spot I hit the wall actually. So hopefully our chase was good enough. We're gonna definitely try one or two more here before we switch up tracks. Definitely a fun, once again, he got disqualified. Definitely a fun uh, fun car to drive if you don't have it and you like S14s. It's definitely a very stable drift car. Um, I would recommend it for you guys if you guys don't have it. It's a definitely very stable. It's very similar to Conadale's car um, when it comes to power band and stuff like that. It's a little on the underpowered side because it is a Pro 2 car, not a you know full Pro car. Or Pro 1 car, I guess you would say. It is a Pro level car, but it's not a... The power is a little bit different. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Let's see if we can get some uh, wall rides to end this off. Well, we always hit that wall there. I always try to get too greasy and... Uh, too greedy. Greasy? Why is it greasy? Too greedy and go into there. So... It looks like we're gonna take another win with this car. Definitely, uh, I'm glad I picked this car up and uh, getting a chance to rip this thing. It's definitely a very nice car. And uh, I do like the Galaxy Paint. I think I've said that before. It is just really, oh, oh, we're gonna overpass that. I had to back up a little bit. 
it's just a really fun to see pro cars, real world pro cars that I follow in the FD and Pro 2 circuit. Um, and it's just fun to see them and uh, actually get a chance to drive them in game. Definitely think I might be doing a full uh, S14 build um, with a Galaxy Paint in Horizon 4 or Forza Motorsport 7. So we're going to uh, hop out here, change up tracks, and uh, see what other tracks we can run real quick before we end this episode off. I think we're going to run Tunnel Edge, Hakone, Hakone, Tunnel Edge. It's definitely a fun track. See if we can't get a uh, high scoring lead run with this S14. DW Dishworks. Took me a second to remember what that was. So who's going to be our next competitor here? It's going to be Drifts. In an S14. So we're going to try and bang a very solid lead run. Let's see how this goes. Initiate in. Nice and tight on the wall. Flick it back. Really deep on that wall. Just a tap. Able to uh, keep our points. I think we're going to have to do a little Monty flick back. It was not in the right stretch to do that all in one line. Very solid lead run so far. As long as I can keep it. I do like the power on this car. The power is right there when I want it. It's very uh, stable in power too. And uh, the chassis reacts how I want it to. So definitely a very solid lead run in that car. Didn't look like he got a very good chase. But uh, are a very good lead, so we're just gonna chase what we can and uh, probably try and find another one. Throwing it really hard there. Trying to stay back a little bit because I'm not sure what happens. Trying to run my own line. Oh, uh, just tap. Oh man. He uh, kind of lost his bearings there and lost a little bit of control. Slow down with a little left foot brake. Those Achilles radials are actually gripping very well. Makes me think that we might be getting some other uh, other tire brands in here since Falcon's in the game and some of the pro cars and Achilles is in the game. Maybe we'll be getting some uh, other tire types in the game, maybe? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Torque drift. What's up? <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, let's try and find one more here before we end this episode off. So if you guys like this and you keep wanting to see it on the channel, make sure you tap that like button, subscribe. I do appreciate all the support. As always, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Big things coming this week. Super excited for some of uh, the content that's coming out this week. So who's going to be our final battle here for today? Once they load in. If they load in. Torque drift. Hello. Load. Wrecked. There we go. So let's uh, once again try and throw down a solid lead run in this car. That way we can have a good chance to take the win in this car right on that wall. We missed that first clip, but we could be able, we could make that up on this wall right here. I think I got the power to link it. We're gonna miss that clip, but I wanted to sweep that in one run rather than manging that out. I'm gonna suck it up right on that wall. Take it back. Look it back this way. Get those last final clips and end that with a very solid lead run. When did I lose my front bumper? 160,000 lead run. When did I lose my front bumper? I don't remember hitting anything. Did I lose it on a cone? Hmm. Not sure when I lost my uh, 
Not sure when I lost my bumper there, but we did get a very solid lead. Unfortunately, I have not been able to get too many uh, insane chases right now. But that is probably because of uh, the people that are online right now are... You know, just start. Looks like they're just starting off in the game because this car is a pro level, so it's not up there in the Drift King drivers yet. Got to get that up there, but we're still uh, gonna make suit with as uh, best chase as we can. Oh, there we go. Oh, and there goes the right off of his S14. So we're going to finish this run up. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. We'll all be found in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. And we'll see you guys next time.